Hi everyone and welcome to the 12 vlogs of Christmas. Today is day four and since it is Sunday night, I thought I would help you guys set up your week by identifying some high performance characteristics that you might have and why you should nurture them. Now, I'm not talking about the typical things that you hear from different influencers like maybe Brendan Burchard or um, you know a lot of other high performance people um, who you know things that they kind of talk about things that are kind of gimmicky sorry Brendan you know Tim Ferriss also talks about simplicity and things like that but I want to talk about something that you might always do that you might not even recognize could be a high performance habit now um, some people for some people this is their morning routine for some people, this is um, maybe the way they, of what they read, how they prep themselves for something like a meeting or whatever, or maybe just their daily work habits, but, or their workspace. But for me, I gotta say, when I was younger, I would finish my work very fast in school. Like I would always finish my homework. People would be like, oh my God, we have so much homework. And I was like, no, we don't, I, I'm already done. Um, and I, yeah, I kind of rush through things sometimes, but essentially I just finished really quick and I just always try to hide it. I didn't ever want to be like head of the class. I didn't ever want to be, um, stand out. I was actually kind of embarrassed because I didn't want to be recognized for these things and I, I didn't want to stand out at all. And, um, I, for one thing, I always observed weird details, you know, um, not things that were just too obscure, but you know, just things, I just saw things on a different level and this helped me stand out in my writing. This is what actually made me a better writer was uh, deep observations. And it's funny because even though I write and I edit, when I edit, I will miss the most obvious mistakes, but I will make the weirdest observations and that actually helps me build up later and find really good inspiring words because it's something that you haven't heard or it's not gimmicky, right? And another thing is that I was always able to read, um, like I would see the whole paragraph, or I'd, I'd taken all the words on the page all at once. It sounds really weird, yes, I know, but it actually helped me a lot. And I didn't realize that this was actually something that I should be proud of until I saw Jim Quick of Quick Brain. Uh, he has a podcast on these high performance things, you know, good memory, better memory, and uh, better, faster reading. And I didn't realize that this was like something that you could do for better reading. And I was like, oh my God, I've been hiding this and burying this because I was so embarrassed and I thought I was so weird because I didn't like read like this, like everyone else. And I didn't like observe all the things that everybody else picked up on right away. And I really thought, wow, this was something that was unique to me. And if I had just nurtured it, if I had just taken, you know, said, you know what, this is who I am and gone all in on that, I could have st stood out as a better entrepreneur, as a better writer, as a better artist, as a better worker. And I didn't have to be ashamed of it. I didn't have to feel weird and be somebody I'm not. So this happened uh, a few years ago when I was working a job in Venice. I was an administrative assistant along with one other person. She shared the same title as me and we had essentially the same job because there was a demand for a lot of people to do this kind of work, right? It's just administrative work like answering phones and filing papers and numbers and stuff. And because I could do these things faster, I, could, I found faster ways to do things. I observed th different problems. I um, could do math in my head really quick so I could run numbers really quickly and because I could read and just process things quickly I actually outperformed her and it turned out to be a really bad situation she didn't like me very much because of that but I didn't want to slow down my pace and slow down who I am when I knew that there was a better way to do things I just said you know what I'm gonna start recognizing this is some a strength that I have and that's when I started nurturing it and I started um, performing high in different areas of my life and I want you guys to think about that too there has got to be something that you do that's different or just in a different way and it works for you so if you do have that ritual or that habit or just that one weird freakishly crazy thing about you then go all in on it double down on it you know don't hide it anymore don't you just nurture it because if you can add value to people and it helps you add value to people faster and to more people, it's only gonna help you in the long run later. So I'm here to tell you it's okay not to be ashamed of it and actually make it a point to do more of it in, in, right now and in the new year. So as long as we're on the subject of high performance, um, as you guys know, London Real, what, that I'm associated with, uh, that I'm a team leader for some of their programs, 
The London Real Academy is opening up the Life Accelerator and I suggest that you join that because it's all about high performance habits. While you won't learn about speed reading, <laughs> um, you will learn about other things about maximizing your morning and your, uh, your day and setting yourself up for success and opening your mind to new possibilities. So I really highly recommend that you try it out. I will leave a link in the description below. So for all of you guys out there, tell me your uh, your habit or that quirk about you and uh, how you're gonna you know just tell me what it is I want to know that I am gonna help um, people nurture and go all in on something that they were hiding or embarrassed about or just want to improve because it's all about being your best self right all right anyway I will see you guys in my next video until then keep creating and I'll see you here tomorrow for the next vlog of Christmas. <laughs> Bye!